Alrighty guys, welcome back. Finally working on this city. Holy smokes, it's been forever, but oh my goodness, it's just been on my mind. I almost dream about it daily. It just I can't honestly believe we've been working on this for literally a full year now. Like that's almost like that's wild, right? Oh boy. Okay, so we should definitely have so much work to do though. Holy smokes. Um so when I logged in, unfortunately, um the middle part of the train station here, uh it literally had disappeared. So it was just like the outside um, parts were the only ones remaining, so it was just pure chaos. Um, so what I did is just removed it. Um, we also had that broken line underneath too with the subway, so... I mean, all that's removed, so... I mean, it's not the worst, because now we've got um, tram tracks, right? So we've got a little bit more room to play with. I do want to maybe extend them throughout this area here. I still haven't really figured out 100% how we're going to do that, to be honest with you, but... I've got, um, I've got a plan in mind. And it involves, I mean, we can do it, I, I think. I don't want to move the bus, though, because it's kind of like, that's just way too much effort to have to put all these bus lines back in. So this will have to stay intact. I think we're going to put a different train station in here, maybe even two of them. And then with one of these roads, we're going to convert it over to uh, tram tracks. And then um, same with over here. So we're going to build a little tram network kind of serving our university. And we'll make sure that we have an intact um, kind of bus network too. But I'm going to do this while the game is paused, so we're not going to be causing any um, any headaches or problems or anything. And then just to kind of test stuff out, what I did is just shift over some of the um, tracks over here. So basically another way in right up here. Same with over here. Okay, so uh, let's do tricky stuff first. And I think the trickiest thing is going to be the um, train station. So why don't we just go to down here. Actually, that lines up very nice. And just avoids those rocks, which is perfect. Now, we probably don't need to make a connecting road here. We'll leave that open for the trains coming in. That would make the most sense. And then these might have to be shifted. Which is not too hard to do. Luckily, we, we do have a little bit more space now that we're taking out some of the, um, some of the rails. But we're going to need um, small little uh, tight train stations here. Um, I downloaded a few cool ones that are... Oh, yes, I like this. Can we use that one? Yeah, that's a nice look, right? Yeah, that's very sharp. Very nice indeed. Now, should we go with the same kind of theme and use one just like this on the other side? Hmm. Yeah, these are tough questions. I could always do this one here. It has a uh, subway station attached to it. It's a little bit big, though. Yeah, see, I've only got the M1 and the... Oh, there's an M2. I don't know what happened with that. That was really frustrating, though. Um, oh, this is a nice looking train station. I think we have to move some of these rocks, though. Maybe we can find one we don't, where we don't have to, but I don't think so. I don't think we'll be that lucky. Yeah, that's a shame with that train station. Because I don't know, all the pieces are still there. So no, I'm really confused by that. Okay, well, let's um, let's move some of these rocks out of the way. We can always put them back in. And, yeah, I mean, the trees one that too. There we go. Again, all this stuff, decorations, we can, you know, it takes no time to put them back in. Okay, so that should be the rocks, which was the conflict out of the way. Yes, indeed. Now, I'm tempted to use this one simply because it has the train station with the subway um, attachment. So let's do that. Kind of complements our, our bus really uh, nicely as well. And then this now looks out of place unless we either center it or replace it with one that has the same kind of theme. So I'm not opposed to using this, but I'd just like to see what else is out there right now. Um, it is very eye-catching, though. How is this looking in comparison? I mean, these two, I mean, in, even in terms of color, I think they're a little bit more, you know, a, a match for one another. Same kind of theme, too, with the trees and stuff. Yeah, let's do this. I kind of like the front um, of this a little bit more, anyway. And this is modeled after a train station in Japan. Kind of cool. Um, what is that? I can't... It's so textured, I can't read it. Is it say in our description? Um, this one right here. 
Well, it does, but I totally don't read Japanese characters, so. What is that? It's a sh oh boy. I'm not gonna bother. I cannot pronounce that. All right. Well, we'll just reconnect this. And oh my goodness, so many updates. So much has happened since we've last played this game. It's always good to have a game that gets like constantly updated, lots of support. Because most of the mods that I was using. Oh no! Don't be, don't be problematic, please. Yeah, most of the mods that I was using that were giving us issues, they're now, um, oh, that's interesting. Uh, they're now actually part of like the base game and everything too, so a lot more compatibility these days. Now I wonder, I wonder why we can't get these guys to, to connect. That's really frustrating. And I mean, if we destroy this bridge, oh boy, the bus lanes. No, um. The bus lines, I should say. I mean, the bridge just has to be one click taller. That's basically it. That's what's so frustrating about this. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so let's just connect these. I think, though. Oh, that's interesting. Um, of course, after I delete the bridge, we realize it's the rock down there. Oh, darn it. Yes, of course, it's no. Of course. Oh well, I mean that's really not the end of the world. Okay, so I want to just go like that first, I think. Nope, that's not it. I'm trying to get our transition to be a little bit smoother. I think I'll just take that. That's not really the worst looking thing, right? And most of this will be hidden by a bridge, so. My goodness. All right, now hopefully the bridge just goes right back in place relatively easily. Nope. Of course not. Um, now is height the issue? Oh no, why is this stuff happened to us? Um, what about from this side? Okay, well I saw something there. That's not quite the direction we had before, but I will literally take anything, to be honest with you. Maybe if we look at where the bus line, yeah, it was right there. Um, okay, um, hmm. I think the key was to lower this, but then... Oh goodness, no, I don't want to lose this. Oh boy, I'm sorry, guys. This kind of stuff, though, it just it's a little bit frustrating, you know? Okay, what if we go up just slightly? Okay, so this bridge does have to be redone, not the end of the world. I'm just being overly dramatic. Okay, so up to 18. Across at this point. Now, what is the issue here? That for me is a little bit tall looking. I think we can lower this. All we need to do really is just cross through here. That's having issues, I think, because of all the um, uh, rocks down there. And then from there to there is not a bad angle. Okay. Smashy, smashy. But again, this stuff we just, you know, we'll put it right back in afterwards, right? And I wonder if prop anarchy, if we leave that on, that'll solve the, the issues we're having here. The short answer is not exactly. But we didn't have to do as much destruction as I thought there. So I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not the worst, right? Okay. Done like dinner. This kind of stuff we'll put back in afterwards, too. Now, the bus lanes, I imagine, probably won't fix themselves. We'll probably have to just move one of the stops, so let's just do that now really quickly. And I can't even select that stop, it looks like. Maybe if I... Oh, that's weird. Put the game on for a split second. Mm, 
Nope. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's interesting. None of the buses. Oh, I'm in trains, you silly man. Well, that definitely explains a lot. My goodness, I'm very embarrassed. Um, okay. Okay, so let's just move this up the streets. And then back down. And then same with this. And then that should hopefully just reroute. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, um... Ooh, boy, what are we going to do next here? I was thinking of maybe doing this as the um, line for the uh, trams. Huh. What do you think here? Okay, well, let's just continue with our, our train. And then as I ponder, hopefully something will kind of come to me. So we're going to have to change the direction of this one so for sure. <clears throat> and, I mean, it's not too hard to do. To see what this looks like in terms of curve. Something like that's not hard to recreate. Okay, what's in our way? Is there a rock? There are. There are a few. And a few more. There we are. Now we should have a clear path, or clear enough. Okay, so just like that. And we'll go like this. And then this is how we'll go up. And then this will just get redone. Just kind of change that a little bit. Hopefully, get the same kind of approach. Now, this might have to do with all those rocks being in the way. Why, oh, highly, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, again, is prop anarchy, is that the way to do it? No, it's not. Probably would have to be like the no pillars, which again, I have to kind of explore. There's some of the mods, you know, they're incompatible, so I haven't turned off, but since the game has been updated a bit, some of them are working again, so. I gotta try some stuff out. <clears throat> okay. I think that's enough. Almost. Or we can go like that. But then I don't like that curve. Um, this can probably just be redone the whole way through. Yep, there we go. Very nice indeed. Alright, so we do have a little bit of room still here. I don't know if this is suicide, but... Theoretically, we could do this. There's going to be a lot of trains going through here, though. Um, yeah, maybe let's not do that. I think our bridge is, uh, is more than enough. And then this should be filled in, I think, just with, um, you know, trees and pathways and that kind of stuff. So we can put a pedestrian path as our little up and over. Got one on that side. Might as well do one over here, too. Okay, so... Oh, there we go. And just bring that down like this. Cool. I quite like that. That's very nice. All right, so let's connect our trains now from the back end. Okay, so that just goes down to ground level. And that comes in rather cleanly, I should say. And we'll get rid of the trees here that are kind of poking through all the, uh, the path. And like, you know, the uh, highway and whatnot. And that one will allow. That's not so bad. This, no. No, thank you. Too much. Too much. Okay. So that is that side. And then this will be this side. And we can probably go above, maybe? I don't know, actually. 
Probably just stick with below, kind of like what we had before. Hmm. Again, another tough question. Alright. Yeah, it's a little bit too, too high. Alright, so down below. And just get the appropriate angle. And there we are. Okay, alright. We're going places. I like this. Can we make this a little bit of a gentler slope? I think I'm just getting picky at this point, but... Okay, so that just has to go over there. So I'm gonna bring this down to a three. Oh, it's already at, I see. I see, I see. Oh, that's, ooh. Well, that's what we're after, essentially, anyway. Very nicely done, sir. How did that happen? Okay, so now on to trams. Okay, so my thoughts for the trams, right? Because the buses, not the buses, or the bikes when they come in, they still have um, access to this lane here, right? Um, and they can get to that, sorry, from down here, that's what I was looking for. So bike network, what we're going to do is turn this one here into trams, kind of continue with this. So I'm going to put on our arrows for the one ways. Put our tram tracks through here that connects basically to the depot now over this way and then we should either I mean, we're either going down and over this way i want to preserve the bike lane though so let's go like this and then we'll go this way just because of the one ways we don't really need them per se in the zone anymore because of the uh, the trams. And then my thought was, I'll kind of show you, I'll back this up a little bit, right? Okay, so if we can, um, I would like to turn, no, then we lose that bike lane, right? Hmm, 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 hmm. Because I was thinking of coming through here and then going up and across, right? I still would like to do that. Something like this, you know? Okay, and then what we can do, gotta think in our feet here, is we'll go across like this with a bike lane. So that way you can still access the bike lane without any issues. Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. And then now we'll continue with our trams just like this. I'm about to a smaller road just because we're limited on space but that's totally no problem excellent quite like this and then we'll switch to the wider road go like this because what's going to happen is we're going to lose some of the six lanes but i mean you can see traffic it's not bad at all so i'm not worried in the least bit so we can continue Oh, no, of course we can't, right? Of course not. Um, this is probably easy to fix, though. <clears throat> okay. Oh, a little bit of uh, traffic chaos right here. Um, okay, so what am I looking for? Highway pieces, three-lane, sound barriers, underground. Check. Cool. All right, now roads. Well, I guess we can do it from this way. Upgrade. Check. Now let's get above grounds. Okay, so that completes that little bit. Because maybe we have this little, you know, way of making this uh, way around. So that's fine like that. This now goes like this. Because again, it's not really backed up right here. So we're not really losing a whole lot, you know. It's not like traffic's going to suffer or anything. And then now what we're doing is we've got this lane here opening up for trams. And then we're going this way towards the university. And now you can kind of see how the shape is starting to, uh, to unfold, right? And then when we get over here, what we're doing is switching over to uh, one ways. We want the one ways with the road, perfect. 
and then same idea over here. And then we're gonna put the little arrows on so we can kind of see that we're doing the right uh, the right thing here. And then what we'll do is we'll just transform this little square into uh, basically a little tram kind of network. So we'll have trams and buses going through here, which will be pretty cool. And then this now connects over to here, which is fine and dandy. And then this connects over to the side. And then that way you still have the bike network, you still have um, buses, and now we've got trams coming in. So we're kind of doing everything here, which is great. And then we'll just connect like that so we can make a little, you know, a little looping way through for the back, back entrance or something. And then what we should probably do is maybe cut across, yes, okay. Kind of just go like this. And go like that, perfect. My goodness, what a lovely little network. So let's go over to this view. Now you can kind of see where the tram tracks are. So that's a nice little network. Okay, so we got some room to stretch our legs now. Starting to grow over here too. We still have to finish and figure this little thing out, but I think we'll more or less focus on the industrial side of um, you know, the tram world once we redo this whole junction. Because holy smokes, look at all this traffic. Oh my goodness, I can't stand looking at this. Get away. Terrible, I don't like that. So, I mean, I really do want to fix that. I might even start, you know. I, I'm tempted to do it, to do it off camera because I think I'm going to try a lot of things. Also got to rework this thing. Actually, I don't know. Do we have to? This is kind of nice to know. Because the other train station we know doesn't work, right? Okay, well, don't get too distracted. Let's, let's go back over here. So we do need to reconnect our subway lines. That's kind of one of the missing things right now, too. And so they all can basically converge over here, but we'll have to be uh, just, you know, conscientious of the traffic coming in and out. Okay, that's not so bad of an angle. That's fine, actually. And then, the same idea, we'll just kind of break these off into a Y shape. And then what I'll do is I'll redraw all the lines off camera, because, you know, we've just done it so many times now. Same with the trains, right? We, we know what we're doing. But yeah, there we go. Nice, uh, nice little improvement, I think. This is kind of fun, actually. All right, so yeah, trams go through. <clears throat> I do think, just for the sake of logic, and adding just some more options, we should probably have let's get back above ground here. Trams like that as well. But then that is such a crazy chaotic. No, there's no way. I don't want that. Oh boy, oh boy. It's good. I don't really want to lose these bus lanes, so maybe forget what I'm doing here. Maybe we can switch these back. Because the game is going to make the trams do the most absurd, like 180 degree turn, which will look just impossible in real life, so... If anything, there should be a one way going out just to prevent that, and then we could just go back to what I was just doing, but... Then we need another. No, it's it's too much effort to do what I was doing there. I think we're we're fine with with this. Totally fine. And then this kind of connects here. Yeah, totally fine. Okay, so let's put in um, a new tram line just so we can kind of see those. This is still kind of new and fun, right? And then oh my goodness, these poor trains. Okay, so let's start over here. And this one's not going to be the biggest line, but it's going to make kind of like a. Um, yeah, just a little bit of a loop. Maybe we can kind of hit the whole part of our, our network here. We can go over a bridge or something. Okay. Test some stuff out, you know. Okay, so we'll head over here. Stop at the train station. And then up and over here. Up this way. Let's move that a little bit further in. There we go, right in the middle, preferably. Over here. Nice. And now let's go visit the university campus. And okay, gotta be creative because of the uh, the bus stops in there, right? All right. Now, what I would like to do is maybe take the long way around. I don't necessarily think I want to go back in. I mean, hmm. 
I guess we could. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. It's a little bit simpler. But that means we should now have the corresponding line going the other way. And then maybe we'll save that back little park for, for something in the other part of the city when we're working over there. Okay, so we'll just go like this. And then we'll make our way over here. I don't need that many stops, to be honest. Okay, then just, you know, basically follow the reverse of this. And, yep, stop right here, perfect. And how does that go back in? Oh, that's great. Great stuff, okay. Let's, let's color these. Clicking on everything here. Up to red. Red for you as well, thank you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now unfortunately again the trains there just not gonna cooperate, so we're probably gonna see a little bit of an increase in traffic just in the little temporary you know right here, but okay, let everything kind of find its pathing. <clears throat> That'll be kind of fun though when we see uh trams rolling over this bridge and everything right here. Oh, look at that! Pedestrians are using this right away, that's great! And so again, you know, off-camera what I'll do is I'll, I'll put in the metro lines, I'll put back in the train lines, we'll decorate this area back up, I can do that as well, you know. Just kind of make this feel like it kind of was before. But no, I like this, this is really neat. And trams, they're just so gorgeous in general. And I love the fact that we have so many custom Toronto ones. It gives me such nostalgia. So when I'm driving around and I see them, it's like whoever, you know, the guy that made the, uh, the assets, right, he did like a fantastic job. I spoke to him on Reddit, actually, I told him the exact same thing. Alright, I want to see some trams, where are they? Want, oh, our depot is so far away, no wonder they're going to take forever to get here. So they're probably coming from all the way over here, right? Cutting through the city, this is probably them right now, actually. Ooh, exciting stuff. All right, well, let's um, let's maybe do a little bit of building or some planning or something in the uh, in the interim. Let that run for a little bit here, because like, I mean, really, what I want, uh, just in the short run, I know we have some side projects going on, like our university over here. We still need to do some improvements there. We're still kind of figuring out how we want to change maybe some of the roads up here, maybe expand some of the uh, suburbs. Definitely want to fill in this whole area here. Maybe look at maybe making some better fire coverage down in our our docks. Again, the island definitely has to be changed. Holy smokes, we've been talking about that since the dawn of time. This poor area has to be fixed. This has to be changed. Oh my goodness, so much to do. And we can work on all this too, just kind of expand some of our suburbs out a little bit, work on our, our rail yards and stuff. But. And then we'll get the Brooklyn theme working again. Maybe we can expand this district, get some more people in here. Because at this point, I mean, the demand, it'll basically move in whatever direction we start to, to work on. So if we put in a lot of like, you know, offices and places for people to work, then our demand for, you know, residential move up type thing and they should kind of, you know, complement one another. So don't don't think that when you see no demand like this that it's impossible to get more people in here, right? Because if we look, there's a lot actually quite a bit of a call for uh, for people. But I think maybe the traffic's causing uh, you know causing some headaches. Alright, so yeah, so much to do. And again, like we're not gonna really rush with this city. Like we've been working on it for a year. Like what's another what's another year, right? Oh my goodness, can you even believe that? Like five years later, but I mean, like you know, SimCity Four. I played that, you know, for like many years, right? So, the idea of that is not too foreign to me right now. All right, do we have any trams yet? I think I put this on three speed. That'll help things go. Oh yes, look at this! Oh my goodness, yes, 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 yes. Can we just hop on board? Darn tootin'. Oh, don't worry. All right, so yeah, let's just end off the episode. Let's just ride this like this, you know? Let's see where it goes. Maybe get rid of that, too. Well, I hope you had fun, though, guys. Didn't really do a whole heck of a lot in terms of building, but definitely fun putting in the trams. It's always fun to kind of, you know, reinforce our thoughts and ideas, too. And unfortunately, you can kind of see, like, there's that guy stuck in the road right there. That's, like, a bit of a pathing issue. And um, basically that times, like, you know thousands was um, creating all those um, issues why people couldn't load the map why I couldn't even load this map right because the uh, bicycle lanes and like where the pedestrian pathways meet roads and stuff 
sometimes the pathing um, runs into errors and, and this and that, right? So most of that has been fixed, which is why you don't see, you know, too many instances of that. But if you do see a random pedestrian standing here or there, it's because their, their pathing isn't working. But, you know, these things, they happen, so... I don't want to say the game's broken or anything like that, right? Nothing, nothing dramatic. Oh, I had such a fun time looking at the city from this angle. Like, it's so just different and neat. And it feels so much bigger when you're looking at it from, you know, the ground level. I think we, like, you know, forget how big the city actually is when we're looking at it from, like, up above. Everything just seems so tiny. Like, the people seem so tiny. The intersections, they seem so close together. The buildings, they seem really tiny. But up close, even these little, you know, medium to small density, uh, you know, low-rise buildings here, they just seem like they're really tall. And the skyscrapers are just, like, monstrous. Holy smokes. All right, so let's, yeah, let's, let's go on a ride here. Let's see this beautiful city of ours, right? It really is beautiful. And it's a fun contrast kind of coming from working on the... Uh, oh, there's our station. Um, working on the uh, the snowy maps coming over to here. Because in real life, you know, spring is spring is starting to spring. You know, it's sprungin' or whatever, you know, the other uh, term is. Spring has sprung, is that, is that what I'm thinking of? So yeah, you know. Nice to see, nice to see some warmer weather in, uh, in this game as well. Now this is a little bit steep. I will not disagree with you if you guys were thinking about it right there, but I'm not really going to change it at this point, though, because, again, it's not, like, you know, it's not the worst, right? Just in real life, I'm sure they would have uh, done a bit of a smoother curve for our poor trams. All right, so this should now just kind of break right and make its way back to the uh, university campus. And then I think we'll abandon ship and uh, call an episode right there. But, yeah, I love seeing these old... I miss those buses, the GM ones, the fish poles. They were quite popular in many North American cities, so I'm not saying they were just strictly in Toronto, but that color scheme is from, from Toronto. And it's like, as a kid, you know, I'd ride that bus like every day type thing, right? And they, they've been phased out, um, oh goodness, like maybe four or five years now, I think. Maybe even a bit longer. But somewhere in that ballpark, so it's not too long ago that the last one was still on the road. It's just, you know... When I'm rich and famous and I have, like, my fleet of, like, cars and garages and stuff, I'll, I'll buy one of those for pure nostalgia just to have it, you know? I can sit, sit on it and have my lunch or something. Who knows, right? Oh, goodness, I am such a nerd. I love it, though. I wouldn't change anything about me. I like being dorky. Now it's kind of cool just to be to be nerdy, right? People are, like, trying to fake it and stuff. Like, I legitimately know how to fix your computer, right? I'm not one of those fakers, <laughs> you know? I ain't no hipster nerd. I'm the real kind. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's call it a day. Appreciate you watching this, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll we will kind of make these a little bit more often. I know it's been a couple weeks since the last one. Just in real life, you know, just time is it just gets away from you. But again, you know, we're working on the city since forever, and so there's no rush to kind of finish it. All right. Well, I'll, I'm looking forward to the comments. It's always fun to kind of you know see some familiar faces pop back up. Cause I know you guys really like watching these ones in in particular. So yeah, drop me a line, especially those of you who haven't uh, said hi in a while. It's always nice to talk to you. Alright guys, take care of yourselves otherwise and have a happy weekend. See you in the next one.